What's going on, gamers? Today, let's go over how to set up a world border on your Apex Minecraft server. The world generation in Minecraft is endless and it continues for millions of blocks. Players in your dedicated server can spend weeks wandering around this large map, unless you limit it. In cases where you want to make survival, creative, or other kinds of servers, making sure the map is an appropriate size is important. This is also known as world borders in Minecraft, which can be configured to any radius you want in-game. It comes in handy when preventing lag, controlling resources, pre-generating chunks, and more, so let's go over how to do it. The default size of world borders in Minecraft is 30 million blocks, which is extremely large. If that's left untouched, players could theoretically reach the limit in survival mode. However, the vast majority of users have cheats or exploits to achieve this task. With this world size, there are roughly 12.5 million chunks that need to be generated for the map to be fully rendered. Keep in mind that each region has 95,000 blocks as of Minecraft 1.20, assuming everything is filled. This is a lot of data and memory to store, making it impossible to fully generate worlds in servers. However, world borders allow you to control how many chunks and blocks are generated, improving performance and reducing hardware stress. Other uses are typically for game modes, mini games, and other similar activities. Setting up world borders is quickly done with commands, but there are alternatives to achieve similar results. These other methods might provide you with extra features and functionality. Like I said, commands are used to set up the world border in Minecraft. Players have to have OP permissions beforehand since it's considered an admin level feature. Once that's done, you can join the Minecraft server with your operator permissions and then open the chat and type and enter forward slash world border center and the X and Z coordinates. Now you can reopen chat and execute the forward slash world border set distance command. For example, 5,000 blocks wide is going to equal a 2,500 block border. After that's set, you can use the teleport command to teleport yourself near the border to confirm the changes. There are other commands to consider when setting up world borders in Minecraft, such as determining the amount of damage players receive when outside of it. This table will help you learn more about each one, and these can come in handy when the world border is relatively small. Instead of using vanilla commands to set up a world border in Minecraft, you can also consider using plugins or mods. These are external add-ons for your server that will provide extra features. For Minecraft servers using Spigot, Paper, or other similar versions, there are several world border options online, with this world border plugin being extremely popular. This allows you to set the size for each of your worlds, its shape, and it has optimization unlike vanilla. Additionally, server operators can choose to generate the world from its border to save resources when normally loading chunks. For Minecraft servers running on Forge or Fabric, this world border mod comes in handy. The main feature of this allows players to loop around the world if attempting to pass through the border. Besides this, the mod provides you with ways to configure the size of each dimension and custom messages relating to them. It also prevents players from using exploits to get around the world border, which comes in handy when vehicle-related mods are also installed. Now, before we get into some questions about the world border in Minecraft, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future tutorials. What is the perfect world border size? The ideal size is anywhere between 20,000 to 100,000 blocks wide, but it heavily depends on your setup. Some game modes require larger maps compared to others, so finding the perfect one boils down to what you want. Are mods or plugins preferred for world borders? Vanilla world border commands are suggested for any Minecraft server unless you're wanting extra features. Only install these types of plugins or mods if you want additional control over the map and its behavior. Can I pre-generate world border chunks? Yes, and we highly recommend using the chunky plugin or chunk pre-generator to do that. Keep in mind that we advise making your world border small before using them since it can cause performance issues if it's misused. The Minecraft world is huge for players to explore, but it can pose issues on servers if the size is too large. Alternatively, you might require the map to be small due to a game mode or an event. Regardless of the reason, setting up world borders in Minecraft is extremely beneficial, 
and it overall improves the quality of your server so that you can start playing right away. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.